Project 7 is what Jaguar is calling their new special car. Ferrari's 458 Special says, you want me to take my shirt off for you? That's it, they're taking the top off. Okay. Toyota is working on a lightweight GT86 and the BM Yoda sports car could be a convertible. Plus, we have your FLD question of the day. Thanks for checking in, everybody. I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily on a Thursday. Mm, tastes good. Almost right. So the BMW Toyota co-developed sports car we've been talking about for a while now, you know, the one that may or may not be the super successor, well, that might turn out to be a convertible. Hmm, yeah. Toyota basically said making that car convertible instead of the GT86 convertible makes more sense. All I can say is that if the top goes down, I'd rather it be a hard top, and then it better sound great. I'd also like to say I'm pretty sure I can't afford one anyway, so who cares what I think. Okay. All right. Let's put that out there. Speaking of the Toyota GT86 slash Scion FRS, the Japanese automaker is reportedly working on a lightweight version that will debut next year with all kinds of carbon fiber bodywork, more aerodynamic stuff, <laughs> and a retuned suspension. They aren't going to change the 197 horsepower 2 liter Boxer 4 engine though, so the lighter GT86 probably won't be much faster in a straight line, so don't expect the 7.6 second 0 to 60 time to change much, if at all. All that being said, it's possible this not as heavy version will use a more powerful four cylinder, which could make things interesting. You know what else would make things interesting? What if it was so light? It can drive up to you and jump into your arms and hold you up. And you can hold it up like uh, Patrick Swayze did in, with, to Jennifer Grey in Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Maybe it'll look like this. Oh, that's real nice. See, I just picked it right up. Yeah. No problem. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I've heard that. Right, I've heard that. All right. Ferrari wants to take the top off of its 458 Special. I'll get your mind out of the gutter. Looking to come out late this year or early next year. Obviously, much of the bodywork from the coupe will carry on over, like the new front bumper, side skirts, and rear diffuser, plus bigger brakes, 20-inch wheels. Oh, and that tuned 4.5-liter V8, making about 600 Ferrari horses and 358 pound-feet of... Twist. Twist. Not torque today? Nope. All right. So, yeah, drop-top Ferrari 458 Special. All right. I love that one shot in this video where it stops and the camera goes around. It's like... <laughs> It takes off again. Pretty dope. What's that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Ahead of this weekend's Goodwood Festival of Speed, Jaguar has leaked something special. Special, right? Yeah. A limited production model, the 2015 F-Type Project 7, based on the F-Type, of course, and using design cues from the Project 7 concept. Yeah, that thing. The results are both beautiful and aggressive. You got the Jaguar racing green paint, a white stripe across the front, some unique wheels, a carbon fiber front lip spoiler, big rear wing, and a supercharged 5 liter V8 from the XFRS and XKRS. That means 567 horsepower goes through the ZF 8 speed gearbox to the rear wheels with a 0 to 60 time brought down to just 3.8 seconds. And top speed is limited to uh, well, you're pretty good yesterday guessing that speed, Max. What do you think it is today? 220 grand. The, I said the speed. Oh, okay. Okay, what was the speed? Oh, uh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 186. Okay. And they're making 250 of them for how much, Max? 186. <laughs> nah, 220 grand. You see, what you did there is you... Okay. You, yeah. You Just like that is what yeah. the... 220 grand a pop. Okay. What are they going to cost? Okay, time. For your FLD question of the day, this one comes from Anthony Castellucci. Yo, Anthony! I'm going to call you Castellucci. Hey, Castellucci, what's uh, your question of the day? I'm going to sound like Yogi Bear. <laughs> Go. FLD, Q of the day. Why would anybody turn their emergency lights on to drive through the rain? Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting question. You asked, why would anybody turn their emergency lights on to drive through the rain? 
Okay, now, all right, but, but before we, uh, we delve into that, I'm wondering, what are, what are you driving there, Castelluch? If you're wondering, this is a 2000 Honda Accord with a kayak on top, and that helps you get better mileage when it's raining. No, 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 it doesn't do that. But uh, no, you're, you're right, uh, that doesn't do that. But definitely sounds like it's pouring there, so a 2000 Honda Accord, how many miles on it? I have 200,000 miles on it. Wow, 200,000. Wow. 200,000 miles. You know, they last. Yeah. Anyway, Anthony also asked how this trend got started and why it happens mostly in the South. Well, honestly, I, I don't know how the trend got started. Probably because people thought they were just being safer, you know, because it's pouring rain and put on the, their, their blinkers or flashers, whatever you call them. But personally, I kind of find it annoying. I don't really like it. Uh, just keep your lights on and... Uh, no need for the blinkers, it's safe just with your lights on. And uh, I don't know if it's a, a southern thing. I mean, people in LA freak out if there's like a slight drizzle. I mean, they're just like, don't leave, it's, you're gonna get caught in the rain. It's like a crazy snowstorm here is the equivalent of drizzle in LA. We're gonna get a lot of letters now. Okay, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I gotta be honest, Anthony Castelluch, that's kind of a weak question. <laughs> Cast no offense, Castelluch. But what I do love, is check this out at the end of his video. I mean, it's just great. Yeah, he, uh, he just keeps rocking out and then does this funny thing with his tongue. Which is funny, yeah. funny. So uh, you keep rocking out there. I could call you Tony. Tony Castellucci. Anthony Tony. Anthony Tony. But our new FLD question of the day now is, what is the funniest thing you've ever done while listening to music in your car? Like, physical thing. Like, Castellucci over here, he's like... Whatever, yeah, I mean, he's just... The tongue, the tongue. Yeah, the tongue, he's like... This <laughs> 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 is funny. Let us know by using FLD, using the hashtag FLDQ of the D. And, of course, you could send in your own. And, Anthony, you be careful out there, you know, filming and driving. I know you're... Your hands were firmly on the wheel and you were looking out, but just be careful, all right? That will do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching. Take it away, Castelluch! <laughs> Erica, what do you do when you're listening to music? Like, what do you, what's your, what's your go-to move? Let me guess, Did you see you? <laughs> I'm so fancy. You already know, you know Morgan. I'm so fancy. <laughs> Living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daily. Car magazines are old news, man. Ain't got the time for shopping at the newsstand. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daily. News for the always on the go folks. Merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes. You can view how you choose to FastLaneDaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.